Hi everyone, welcome to Pirate Soup. Through life, we all have different journeys. During those journeys, we must practice manifesting the right thoughts. Only we can change how we feel inside. This is a symbolic story to represent this idea. This story is called Enlightenment. I hope you enjoy it. Two men, each of nondescript nature, are sitting on a bench in a park on a summer's day. The two make small talk about the weather and other people in the park, but it doesn't take long for the conversation to deepen, and the two men start to discuss the possibility of enlightenment, as one would expect any conversation to go. The two men agree to go off on their own adventure in search of enlightenment and what existence means in its true essence. The first man sets off on foot in one direction. It's a nice and pleasant walk. The birds are singing, the sun is shining, everything feels so calm. After some time of walking in the warmth of the sunshine, the man sees a little shade under a tree in a field and takes a seat. After the long walk, he needs a rest and the grass looks quite comfortable, so he decides to take a short nap. When he awakens, he's developed a slight hunger. Suddenly, a great feast of all his favourite foods appear. How, wow, how lucky am I? The man asks. After eating, he's got quite the thirst, and as if by some miracle, the man's favourite wines appear right in front of him. The man enjoys a glass or three of the wine, and starts to feel a little bit tipsy. As he's had a drink, he starts to become a little bit paranoid. How did this happen? He asks as he looks around. Nobody's here. There must be ghosts. And then bang! Ghosts appear all around him. The man panics and doesn't know what to do or think. Oh no! They're going to kill me! The man then dies under the tree. The second man from the park bench goes off in the opposite direction. He walks down a street in a rough area of the city. People are angry at him for whatever reason, they're shouting and throwing things at him. And as the day turns to night, the man is surrounded by savage, wild animals. Not wanting to wait around, he runs for it. The savage, wild animals look hungry, and he doesn't want to be their food. The man eventually finds refuge in a doorway where none of the people or animals can see or get him. He stays there until morning. But when morning comes, he knows he cannot stay there forever. There's only one thing left for him to do. So the man plucks up the courage and decides to walk back the way he came. There's chaos everywhere. Huge commotion. He starts to run for his life. But with all the people and animals chasing him through the streets, he succumbs to the troubles and dies right there in the street. As a ghost, the second man gets up and starts to make his way back to the park bench where it all began. He is very miserable. I hope the other guy had better luck, he says. The first man, however, was also making his way back to the park bench where it all began. He too was miserable about being dead. Both ghosts arrive back at the park bench. Neither of them found enlightenment or even happiness. How was it for you? One ghost asks. It was perfect at first, but I manifested the wrong thoughts, and I should have just accepted what was around me. What about you? He says. Well, I didn't think about manifesting anything. I just went through it, tried to survive, and found some peace in the torment, but it killed me. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you managed to take something from this story. And please click that like button and don't forget to click the subscribe to not miss any future uploads.